Hey guys, it's Othani here from Create Your Future. So today I'm going to talk about how to allow, okay? Um, it's very important to get to the point where you allow yourself to just be and allow. Um, so I intend by the end of this video, you unlock a new level of understanding when it comes to this. So before I get into that, know that Create Your Future is giving out a free course. We have a free course available for you guys. Um, and if you're interested in that, check out the link in the description box below. Also, if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, which is 50% off now and is going to change very soon, you can also find that in the link um, in the description. You can find that link in the description box below. So how to allow... You know, there are so many techniques and so many, so many, so many things that you can do that are there because they help you shift into the mentality and into the state of actually being the person that you want to be um, with a set of affirmations that would be the way you would think if you were that person, right? So that that's what the techniques are for. And that is wonderful, that is great, because it's introducing a new way of thinking for you if you always thought one way before. And since our consciousness is what pushes out into our 3D reality, what you think is what becomes your reality. So the best way to get better results in your life is to change your thoughts. So, how do we allow? Well, the best way to allow things to flow into, into your experience that you want is to neutralize your feelings towards it. So the best way to neutralize, and this works wonders for me, usually with everything that I want. And what if, if even if it was something that I had resistance towards, this still, still works worked wonders for me and I would just tell myself you know whatever I'm just going to allow it to happen and whenever it happens that means that it, it was the right time for it to happen I automatically neutralize any resistance that I had towards my desire you know whatever it is that I wanted because the only reason why you're not seeing clearly what you want is because you have placed an invisible layer of resistance through the opposing thoughts you had towards your desire. The more opposing thoughts you have towards what you want, the more that invisible wall is going to get stronger and stronger that's between you and your desire. So the best way to neutralize that and how and to allow it to come into your experience is to just, you know what, whatever. I know this is gonna come to me at some point because my whole life is a manifestation. And even before I knew what manifestation was, I've always been manifesting, but now that I know what it is and I became, you know, maybe a little too attached to it and wanting to see my outcomes because I know what it takes now to get my outcomes, you know, that causes, you know, too much resistance because before you were manifesting the good and bad so easily before you even knew that what that's what you were capable of doing, you know, as a human. So the art of allowing. Don't you notice that or what it seems like to people is, oh, you know, pertaining to relationships. Oh, you know. He came back when I didn't care about him anymore. He cared. He came back when I don't want to be with him anymore. And it's it's more so when you gave up, you just let go of that resistance and you shifted into a new version of yourself that didn't have the thoughts to care about wanting that this that person so bad. So when you shifted. Your 3D 
just reflected that. That's all that that was. You know, so it's not really a thing of, oh, when you don't care about them anymore, they come back. No, you just let you just let go of all of that resistance that you had towards it because when you're in a really happy committed relationship when you're with your husband you still love them you still think about them all day right like when someone is with the relationship with their person you see them they obviously think about their person all day and they're still happy with their person all the time because they have a certain set of thoughts about themselves and that person that they dwell in mostly and they more so allow and they're more relaxed and neutralized and the confidence in their self-concept that relationships and opportunities automatically come to them what it seems like with ease so i'm praying i'm making sense here but you have to be okay with not needing. You have to just be okay with not needing. And you just have to keep... You got to talk to yourself. Talk to yourself. Listen, self. Relax. Relax. Because if I keep on needing, if I keep on... Put it like this. When you plant a seed in the ground, you let the seed go and you you know take care of it you water it and you let it be and you let it grow you don't sit there and hold the seed like this with a tight grip and then expecting the seed to grow a plant or a tree out of your hand no you can only let it grow and truly start the process and let it bloom when you let the seed go and then you take care of the seed, which is equivalent to the human experience as just finding joy in your life and being present with that, without that desire, that seed. When you're when you're planting, you know, are you constantly stressing about, oh my God, when is this seed going to grow? Are, and you're constantly digging up the soil, looking at the seed. Now you don't ruin it. You know, and not to say it like that, but that's what, that's what will happen to the plant and to what you're trying to take care of and create from the seed. So you have the art of allowing is nature. It's just being. You don't have to keep trying, trying, trying. I'm trying to manifest. I'm trying to manifest. I'm trying to manifest. At some point, you have to tell yourself, you know what? I'm just going to let it be. Because when you hit that pinnacle, when you hit that, when you hit that state of being, when you hit that mental way of thinking about it, that is natural. And when you when it's natural, it flows. You just gotta talk to yourself. Self, you know. When I grasp onto the seed, the seed can't grow. Grasping onto the seed is the equivalent um to checking the 3D. It's the equivalent to constantly having the opposing thoughts. It's looking for outside validation. No, just be, just no, you know, no. Tell yourself, I'm the version of myself that gets what I want. I'm the version of myself that gets what I want. And I'm the version of myself that is so easy for me to have the best relationships. You know what? When this, when SP wants to contact me, they're going to contact me. And I know they're going to contact me. And I'm just going to let it be. And I'm just going to... Let me see. Find something that I want to do. Let me go to the movies. Let me go to a dance class. Let me go watch my favorite show. Let me go, you know, let me go find something that I can do real quick. Let me go take a nap. Let me... And you don't want to fake... You don't want to 
be fake busy and just feel like you gotta do something like okay if I do this then I'm gonna get this no you want to do this to become a better version of yourself so that you don't have to keep experiencing the same things all over and over again when you're trying to be fake busy because you know that being busy and present is what's going to get you your manifestation but when you're coming from that type of being trying to manipulate um allowing you're just going to create more resistance so tell yourself i don't have to rush any process i don't have to i don't have to try hard let me finally step into the version of myself that just wants to be let me not look for sp's page let me not go on their page and try to find if there's a third party and try to see what they're doing because that's not being doesn't that doesn't feel good it doesn't feel good when you do that because it's not natural it's not being it's forcing it's trying to look it's trying to your 3d now anyway is just a mixture of your past thoughts and beliefs that are just playing out today as time goes on and it's time to finally just be fed up with the old version of yourself. It's time to be fed up with that, you know, and just say, you know, you know what? I'm okay with the unknown. I'm okay with the unknown because I know what's to come can only be better because of the thoughts that I'm having now. And be it, that's how you accept and just become at peace. And your world... What you know, whatever you would like to call the powers that work with you to bring about your manifestations, the intelligence knows when you've settled in that state of naturalness, it knows. Um, and that's just the that's just the beauty, the intelligence, the intelligence, the creation of it all, and the experience of it all for us humans, you know. So you allow by telling yourself, I am allowing. I am allowing things to flow for me. I don't have to be that version of myself anymore because that version of me is, is what keeps putting me in the cycles that I, I wanna get out of. And, I, and I'm just gonna stop now and I'm just gonna become this better version of myself right now. I am the better version of myself right now. And then as the time as time goes on as you go about your days you just keep telling yourself that and if you have an opposing thought you talk to that thought no goodbye i'm the new version of me you can't you can't you can't live here anymore it's just like telling someone that tells you mean things you don't want to be around them anymore get, get away from me it's the same thing when you hear those thoughts in your mind that conjure up from out of nowhere that get you in a place that you know gets you shaky within yourself no get out of here you're done i'm thinking this new way of thinking and this is who i am now and i don't care what i'm seeing right now i know eventually that's just going to be gone that's going to play out but this is my new way of being i'm allowing tell yourself i am allowing i am allowing You know, and a lot of the time people can use, want to use like manifestation as a quick magic trick. You know, it is magic, but it's not magic in a sense of like everything is just in the snap of a finger. And the way society and things are now can make everything seem that way because a lot of things through social media especially have and online shopping have been convenient for us so a lot of the time we expect everything to be quick fast especially in these times but patience is the key relaxation in the body is the key allowing nature is the key 
would you rather get advice from someone who seems always negative and out of order or would you rather follow the advice of someone who seems calm confident and knowing because those are the voices that are within you as well the old version of you who's mean unkind whether it's to yourself whether it's to others whether it's to the experience and the scenarios that you're creating in your mind or the kind version to yourself that's kind to yourself kind to others kind to the experiences that you want to create you know which one are you going to listen to which one have you been listening to you know the more you just become aware with yourself and understand what you're doing and you um talk to yourself instead of trying to figure out how to change someone but you talk to yourself and so how you could change yourself so you could feel better about what's going on and just feel better in general because when you feel better everything outside of you reflects to make you feel better and more as long as you keep up as long as you keep that up so it's time to allow guys it's time to trust if you are the secure version of yourself, there's never no need to check your person's social media. There's never no need to look for anyone to see if they're following extra people. There's never no need to do that if you are secure. So how do you become that? You just stop the actions and do the opposite of what you were doing before because doing the same thing and trying to get a different result I believe is the definition of insanity so to switch that all up and to allow is to tell yourself I'm not doing this anymore I'm gonna do things that bring me joy in the present moment instead of doing things that try to get someone else to give me validation when you switch that up and you become more present in the moment that's how you allow you have to talk yourself out of chasing the affirmations definitely help with that because the more you are dominantly repeating something in your mind the more it's creating a certain state and the more you will automatically take actions from that state so the best way to get into the state of allowing is to keep, keep telling yourself, I am allowing. I am allowing. I am allowing. If I check SP's social media, that's not allowing. I'm not allowing. If I keep checking my bank account, feeling scared about the bills that I have to pay, not opening the mail and because I'm scared to look at the amount on the bills, I'm not allowing. You're creating the resistance and keeping yourself in the state of the person that's not wealthy because when you're wealthy and you open up whatever bill, it's whatever because you know that, you know, bills are something you have to pay. There's never no need to feel scared about them because you always have the money to cover it. It's, it's like whatever. I have, I pay my bills and I have more money and then some. When you see a bill next time, give yourself the opportunity to not feel afraid about it. Open that bad boy right on up and we look at them out on that bill and be like, okay, whatever, I'll pay this. And I paid it already. Instead of feeling nervous about it, like, oh my God, how am I gonna pay this? No, soon as you see it, even if it's a number that looks a little big to you, no, this is, I'm paying this, this is paid. This is nothing to worry about. Because that's how exactly how you would react to a bill when you have all the money that makes you feel financially secure. So, The art of allowing, before I head out, is just having a talk with yourself and telling yourself that I'm going to allow this time and I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna do this anymore. I don't have to do this. I'm not gonna operate out of fear. If there's anything that's making me operate out of fear, then I'm not allowing. That is the opposite of allowing and I'm only creating more resistance for myself. You gotta be your own best friend and talk to yourself in beneficial ways. 
and you're automatically going to take beneficial actions. And before you know it, you have allowed your manifestation to come in because you're not grasping, trying to look for the evidence, digging up the seed, ruining your plants, your beautiful plant that you're trying to grow in your garden. You don't want to keep messing up the plants that you're growing in your garden. You know, the natural thing to do to grow a, a, a plant from a seed is to put it in the soil, water it, take care of it, give it proper sunlight. To get your manifestations, you declare what it is that you want, say it in your mind, you feel confident about it, and you go about the joys in your day. The same way you care for a plant, you care for yourself. And everything around you automatically cares for you. So, tell yourself, I am allowing. And I intend that this gave you a level of security within yourself. And I intend that you feel way more calm towards money, health, whatever it is that you want. Allow yourself and tell yourself, you know what? I'm at peace with everything and how it is. And from now on, I'm only going to continue to create the best for myself because I'm only going to think the best for myself. And when I think negative for myself, I'm going to knock it out with about two, three more positive thoughts right after that. And it's just, I'm going to keep on moving and keep on doing that. And life is going to get better. You know, having good thoughts and believing the good thoughts cannot produce negativity if your beliefs are grounded in love and being calm and relaxed. So I intend that this helped you. And until next time, see you later.